guys, what's up? My name is Becca Graham. I'm 25 years old and I live in Harrisonburg, Virginia. For the most recent season, I played with Jordi Vigna as VACA. When I started playing round net in 2013, there was no women's round net. Um, there was no such thing. Allie Kaufman and Jenna Coleman and myself were some of the first women to travel consistently and play um, frequently in tournaments, but there were no women's divisions until 2015 nationals in Nashville. Um, we had 13 teams, which was awesome, and it was super exciting, super fun to play against other females for really the first time. Um, the following year, 2016 nationals, we had about 25 teams, I think, in the women's division. So cool to see that growth. Um, it's leveled off a little bit since then, but um, in 2017, they started adding women's divisions to tour stops, which was also really neat um, to give women the chance to play in a really competitive division against other females was really awesome. The development of co-ed tournaments has really helped the growth of women's round net, I think. Um, getting more females out there playing, getting comfortable with competing. But not only has women's round net grown in numbers significantly since 2013, it's also grown in skill. Um, it's so cool to see the women's game improving drastically every season. There are numerous female players who have played and competed in premier divisions now, which is awesome. Um, so we've really seen a lot of growth. I think we have a long ways to go, but from 2015 to now, it's been, it's been awesome. It's a great feeling. It's an accomplishment that I've worked really hard for for a long time. I think I've been playing quite a bit longer than most women that are still in the game. And that definitely has played to my advantage. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. I couldn't have done it without my incredible teammates that have gotten me there, but I consider it an honor and I'd love to make it five. I am actually a big fan of the volleyball style last name team names. Um, I know some people think it's lame, but Shizik Walter, Graham Throw, I think it's classy. I think it's a lot easier than trying to come up with a clever team name. Um, that's my vote. That is a tough question. Probably one of my historical favorite women's matches was Ogres Heroes vs. Vendé Ambergesas at 2016 Nationals. Um, it was the semifinals. Allie and I had never heard of Tori and Char, never seen them before. Most people hadn't. Um, they kind of came out of the woodwork and they gave us a game. They were scrappy, they were quick, um, way better than we expected walking into that game and it made for a super exciting series. And it was really just so cool to see that there were other talented women's players out there that were just kind of coming out of nowhere other than the known top three teams. Um, it was really exciting and I felt like it was a really cool development for the sport of women's round net. My favorite match from this season, this past season, was probably Trio versus Bow Body, third place game at Nationals. Um, that game, that match had everything. Body blocks, diving sets, scrappy defense. Um, it was so exciting. I watched it back because I didn't watch it in person and I've watched it back numerous times because I think it's one of the best women's matches that, that's recorded to date. My favorite meal to cook? Breakfast. Favorite meal to eat? Breakfast. Although I strongly prefer to eat breakfast foods that aren't cooked. Thanks for tuning in. For more Roundnet content, make sure you follow Spikeball Roundnet Association on Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube. See ya.